game probably gave me the chance so I can actually get used of it. Yeah, the winner was the winning way was to actually grab the title from the top while having the ladder. I think I, I've stunned KO enough there. I was lucky. Yep, that win was undisputed, Chloe. So what's going to happen now? This is going to be interesting because KO actually is on a losing streak for a while, starting with the Summer Slam. Alright, so that's another story complete. And let's let's get more attributes in this case. I'm gonna get more for striking and grappling. Oh, I don't have, I don't have points anymore, so I can only pick something for area running or submission in this case. So I'm going to get for uh, area run, running for the points. So let's spend those. We need a table with the Miz port. <laughs> yeah, so I can so I can make him even easier. That would help. Definitely. Okay, so we have those uh, missions as well now. After the Dark Horse Champion score another win over KO. What does Amir have in store for... Yep. The impression I supported I own any way... Oh, wow, that's actually talking more of it. The impression I supported in any ways on insult and partiality. You just said you can stand and hey KO, let's make you champion. This is all your fault. It is what you had in mind for your brand's image. Oh yeah, definitely it's trying to take us down the Miz. Definitely, I agree. Yeah, so they're all... All... Uh... Oh, what's this with the MVP? Let me get this straight. Clips on the shoelaces and become undisputed. Shows up on my show. It doesn't even shake my hand in the locker room. Disrespectful. I didn't see MVP in a while in the real life show. So wait, I did not. Man I didn't even manage to read it all. Can I still scroll it back? Don't try to play in innocent now. You look me right in the eye and walk past. You have zero credibility. So improving is the place I have. How can I be credibility in your eyes? There's an old rule about coming to a new yard and taking on the biggest man. In and that is a must. Ooh, okay. Take him on in a non-title match, you will earn my respect. He wins though, I must get the title shot. Alright. This is a massive attraction. I don't think you are, are one of your champion cares about his face. Okay. Yep, bring on Amas. Bring the Nigerian giant in this. Let's go. Yep. Let's do it. Let's see Amas in action. This is going to be probably a hard battle, but let's see if we can uh, beat him. There he is. The giant boy. Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall. 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! You are looking at a real-life monster in one hell of a bad mood. Has stood across the ring from future Hall of Famers and decimated them. And decimation is on the menu again tonight. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. He's so big, oh my god. He is double and the there size. He is the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. And here it is us joining. WWE Universal Champion, 
Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more he has to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. Superstars were okay, targeting let's where go. they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah, and just look into their eyes. They do not plan on stepping down anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match could be a declared statement. And standing across the ring from him is the human Redwood Omos. Just a towering, terrifying marvel of a human being. All the raw power and athleticism you can imagine. Omos has all the potential in the world to become a major superstar. He sat under the learning tree of top talents and is now ready to stand out on his own. Okay, what combos do I have to do? <laughs> Did I already done three of them? Uh, X, 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 A, X, X, B. Okay. Maybe it has to be up. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, what a kick! And set right into the corner. Oh, what a kick! Ooh. He's lost some of his win now. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh, Moss looking evasive. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Look at this. Amos showing his personality matches his stature. Okay, what others do I have? XXAB. Big forearm. Body shot. Amos changes oh, the never mind. of that one. Reversal on top of reversal. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Hey, yo. And Omas pays for leaving an opening. DDT planet. Boom. And with that well timed maneuver, Omas really feeling the effects of wear and tear. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Oh, God. Nice. Superplex Amas from the top rope to change which support is being targeted. Press. Oh. Okay, this is new, the targeting thingy. And how am I supposed to? For a lot of WWE purists, SmackDown has traditionally been the quote-unquote rest. Wait, how do I do that? Perform a heavy attack or grapple? Press B to grab, press B and Irish whip. Use it while pressing B to control the direction. Oh, all right. So this should be easy. But I need to get him, him to be up. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. <laughs> that was a good DDT. Expected that one. Close line. What impact. Hits him with the counter. Oh, God. Man. Quick thinking pays off. Back and forth, back and forth. Looking for the advantage here. 
Perched on the top rope, looking to inflict All right. more damage. Oh my God, not from up there. What on earth? Oh my God. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my God! Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. Oh my God! <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh boy! <laughs> oh. Jeez! Ex Welcome back, Mustafa. Yep. Roman Reigns definitely cheated, but still, in even. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing, my friends? Hope you are all well and excited for a new part of WWE 2K24. Hope. Welcome, welcome. G Snow, welcome. How you doing, Snow? Great to see you again in the chat. And hello to all of you guys. Amazing legends. Simon, Naughty Buddy Brother, Chloe, DJ, and everyone else. Hope you're all doing good and are excited for more. And Snow, welcome again. How you doing? Great to see you again, especially. How are you guys ready for more? Because the, I, as I, I, I'm really, really excited to have this is going to be. But before I'm going... I would like to mention something very important and especially that as I was saying in the chats during the uh, pre-show start I'm going to have a different week this time but only probably most of this because I know I've been leaving most of my games in cliffhanger and uh, because I've been playing like, multiple and streaming multiple games at the same time and I realized I've been doing some mistakes like by keeping you guys waiting one week especially for every time I was streaming so um, I've decided in this situation that uh, I'm going to be having uh, more streams this week and now it's not going to be any pressure simon it's all right uh, i i realized that i'm going to have um uh as usual the tuesday and thursday for streaming and also i'll be have if i'm not having anything on my schedule i'm going to be having both my days on other saturday and sunday with uh, the light dragon infinite world so yeah as of as mentioned i'm having this one i'm going to have uh so today and on Thursday we're gonna have WWE 2K24 and then in the weekend like a Dragon Infinity World. So you you can see all the details in my Discord server because I already scheduled them there when I'm going to start in advance. And also I'll be having them scheduled on my YouTube channel as well. And doing good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm I'm excited. Uh, Snow. I'm pretty pretty good as well. I'm uh, really really excited for this game to come back to it, especially after an amazing star last time. And uh, I'm really curious what's going to happen today. With everything that happened, especially all the amazing stunts that you can do in this game. And as I was saying, yeah, I updated a bit my, my character, my moveset that I'm using, and everything else. I'm really excited to see how this is going to happen today. But before we are going, we have attributes to upgrade. And this is where I've left the last time, because we've got we've done all those amazing matches. And we, I have more points to use, and this is what I'm going to do now. And so I'll be, putting one in sub I'll be putting one in submission, and I'm going to be like living like that, because there's nothing I can do. So I have... a, a a bit extra points in submissions. Like and share. Thank you very much, Snow. I really appreciate it. Hope you are doing well again. And hope you are going to enjoy the show, you and everyone else. And without any further ado, let's check the social media to see what we are going to have here. Try the man 1996. He's going to say something. Did you just post your pa Oh. Try the man. Did you just post your password? <laughs> I just got that one memorized. Oh, damn. Guys, go and break, it. Go and break his account. <laughs> Finn Billy, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well, guys. What's in here? JD McDonough. What's share? No matter what happens, was only worded. Wait, is there something else? In no, I don't cell phone no more. Oh, okay, so it's the same. I didn't miss anything. Okay, so like the social media, I've already done this with the MVP of the giant Amas. So was the crazy stand there? Uh. Okay, I done with the performance center with the King Regal. So in this case, we are going to be going to the main ones. We have Troy Simkin here. We have Tevish too. Okay. Let's see what Tevish. How am I? I'm, I'm doing awesome, Snow. Thank you so much for asking. I said earlier as well, but I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much again. Hope you're doing well, you. And thank you so much for joining you and everyone else. Hope you're, hope you're all doing good. Anyway, do I have more points to, uh, to spend on? Yep, I actually have more points to spend on. So let me just give it on the grappling in this case. 
so I can use the extra ones. I'll be right back. Oh, how? All right, Chloe, no problem. Okay, let's check. Let's see what Devish wants to say to us. Champ, I hope you'll forgive an old timer button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished. Now, my fighting days may be behind me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. All right. Let's see what this is going to... Max upgrade points plus 10 and attribute points plus 5 to arm power. Why not? Let's do the challenge match. Hopefully, we are going to win it. Okay, guys. I think now it's time we are going to see the in the new intro that I've done for this. So we are going to you guys are going to enjoy it even more because I'm really curious to see how this is going to beat you. Now when it's not in the editing zone, hope you. Okay, so Seamus is first. This is amazing, and then should be our character. The Celtic warrior always ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior. The leader of the Brawling Brutes, I'll tell you, this guy will fight anyone, even his friends. Well, it's a good thing Seamus doesn't consider you a friend. Still a lot of fights left in the Celtic Warrior, that's for sure. A pint and a fight is a good Seamus night, and my sources say the Celtic Warrior already has a couple cold ones waiting backstage. And now should be our entrance. It's a superstar. Yeah, there it is, denied. my now new entrance, guys. Fight. Hope you will the like WWE it. WWE Universe. in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful. He might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. All right, time to fight. As each competitor is already looking for that perfect moment to unleash their devastating finishing moves. If okay. I Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be praying and yesterday's news. Good golly, what a knee. And that one misses the mark. Oh, bell clap. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Oof. Oh, what a kick. Oh. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Striking at will. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Drives a foot into the stomach. And 
Sheamus is countered. Close fist connects. Wicked roundhouse kick. Oh, no. Oh, not to the belly. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. The power of Sheamus being suppressed. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh, and a kick. Oh, Mountie and Nell just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. My God, what a striking display. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, he knew that was coming. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Yeah. Up and around. Oh, no. Oh, the tilt the world backbreaker. He's going for it all. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asked from the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? yeah. Wow. Now he's been put on the defensive. Uh-oh. Able to parry that one. Up into the torture rack. Knock out victory. This one is over. There we go. Here is your winner. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Sheamus has to be fuming right now. I don't know what more he could have done in the ring tonight. Honestly, if Simon, I miss Sheamus too. He hasn't been in the live uh, wrestling uh, for a while. Hope he's all right and that uh, he is still in, in it. And I'm glad you liked the um, intro. Thank you, thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Let's see what this is going to happen from now on. Because I've got the challenge, I've got the extra points so I can upgrade my character, especially my stats. Yep. Not close to finish. Now it's done. And let's go back to the upgrade zone. And I'm going to be giving it for striking. Let's use those. Okay, level 5 out of 10 for striking. And what's on the social media? Seamus sure got served your finishing move on a silver platter. You show him, him what it means to reign supreme. Keep unleashing. Okay, that's amazing. Alright. So we got praises. Okay, and now we are going to the main story of the game. With that, that is the symbol there from Troy Simkin. And let's see what's going to be in here. Well, well, well! All hail the conquering hero, <sighs> Troy. What's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss, Miz, has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. 
So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. All right. Troy, I will head to the ring. And I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him and his big plan for sweeps. Great. Sounds like raiding. Okay, let's go. We are about to enter a story gate playing. This will advance the story on your Okay, okay. Yep, let's go. I, there's nothing else I can do. I've gone I've gone already all the optional and the, the challenges. So let's do it here. Let's see what's going to happen. We have to keep def we have to keep uh, defending our title According guys especially. Sources, the Miz is something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So Miz, I'm not gonna sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Gotta admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem to be working. Hellfire and brimstone. Yo! You gotta love seeing the champ in action. Oh! Well, his title isn't on the line, I'm sure his pride is. Yeah, Michael, and the champ might be using this as an opportunity to prepare for any future title matches. If you ask me, I think this is a smart move for the champ. Like I said, the only thing it can hurt is his pride, Byron. But Kane's a demonic force to be reckoned with. You can already tell he's gonna have a lot of fun doing everything he can to break his opponent down in this one. The idea of Kane having fun might be the scariest thing I've heard all night. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. I did not expect Kane. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Shifts it back onto him. Oh, what a wind up. How do I get the chair? Like this is the pr this is the problem here. Like I I don't know what buttons to press to get the chair anymore. It doesn't get any more intimidating than the big red monster. Kane blazing a following trail of destruction. There's no stopping the big red monster. Bam! Spine buster. Right to the knee. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, as the big red monster decided to dole out some damaging punishment right there. Quick return to the ring. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Get the chair. He has a kendo stick in hand. And oh, there we go. Swanson Street. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. And look at Kane now, perching himself up, taking flight. Nobody home. Oh, chair shot delivered. Oh, man. Boom. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Measured knee strikes. Still at again. Yikes. Just going all out with every blow. <laughs> oh. 
He gets back into the ring. Okay, so what's the deal with this? Okay. I don't understand what to do. So I'm do I've done that. Get Kane. Oh, get Kane outside the ring on the entrance side. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Just got flush. I know what I've done wrong. Ah, oh, right to the back. Come on, wait. Get up. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Oh. I need him to wake up so I can get him outside. Oh, what a leg drop. <laughs> Kane is losing grip on this match right now. The big red monster showing weakness here. Both wrists captured and nasty. That attack okay, I'm gonna let him Kane. get up because and I cannot get him up for some yet. reason. Things are only going to get harder from here. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. He's just dominating at this point. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. Okay, there we go. Chain reverses it. Oh, my God. Did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Oh, not no, no, the choke slam. On the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if The Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. The Big Red Machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. Wow, oh my god, I did I literally did not expect that guys to be Kane here. But the thing is that I literally I literally had no idea that I have to do it outside the ring. The Irish whip thingy. Because I was literally trying to do it all the time during the ring, during the ring, inside the ring, inside the ring. But then I realized what it meant. If it, it would have meant the in there in the ob objective that I have to be outside the ring, I would have definitely not know about it. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I know it only that met at one time at Mania after party but I was watching Smackdown okay oh wait that's Amy Dumas I didn't even read the name yet I was like looking at the text itself straight yeah okay look what everybody's worried about him I would be too especially after that big choke slam there I'm on the rematch right now guys we cannot let Kane get in our way hopefully we are going to have it and by the way, it looks like we're having one, one fought with, with Dirty Dominic. Or I think it's going to be like that. I have no idea what's uh, going to happen. Hey, Dom. What's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog. But I get it. Because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. 
This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. Mm. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. Okay. Decision branches. Important decision crucial to your Myra's are mar Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to go on the uh, Unleash side. Unleash side is uh, on the girl side. But I, I'm not sure what who is going to tell the truth now. If I have to, if I have to pick from based on the real life stories, uh, I would say you uh, uh, probably Lita is more advanced in this. So I think I'm going to be siding with Lita in this. So that's I what's going to happen. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself. But just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. Well, I don't think I'm going to lose my title. I hope not, at least. We are going to see what's going to happen. Imagine if Kane would actually return in real life too, that would actually be crazy. <laughs> Extremely crazy. All right, but now I hope my choice is going to be or it's, it's, it was the right one, but I think it might be, I'm not sure. Maybe yes, maybe not. We are about to see it. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay. Okay. I actually, by the same expression that I've got... So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls and I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. Let's go. Let's have some fun times with Lita in this case. And we are off to Mexico. <laughs> Don't know what to expect in here, guys. But why are the low the loading scenes are so long for some reason? They weren't so long last time. Lucha libre magica. Okay. Who is this guy? I, I don't remember seeing this guy in a while. There are no commentators in this, probably because there is no the, not the arena. First, first impression is this guy is too fat. <laughs> I don't like him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boom! And now it should be us. Yep. Let ourselves get to the arena. 
or more like the kind of ring. Welcome back, Chloe. Glad you're feeling better. And I'm sorry that you are in this situation today. Hope you will feel even better later. And there are not really any commentators in this. Wow, okay. So I think it's gonna be a match without commentators speaking in this. Yeah, just because it's not the arena, there are definitely no commentators in this. It's completely understandable in here. If you're feeling better, that's all that it matters, Chloe. No matter how it happens, if somebody like made you or not, like that's all the most important part in it. The villain from The Incredible took another job. Now he's pretty strong. We've got stronger. Definitely. We've got some upgrades earlier as well. And this is the kind of ring that they actually give me that vibe of uh, uh, backyard fightings. Alright. Let's beat this guy. So we can have a revenge, our revenge on Kane. Oh, no! Oh, I missed. Oh, okay, now I see why this guy is so strong. Come on, get up. <laughs> that was a cool DDT. Welcome Vemo Rashid6, welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Yeah. Now we are not you are here on the My Disputed uh, uh, My Rise storyline. Oh, come on, get him. He is not done. Messed up my coup de gras. There are no disqualify disqualifications in this. No, he's not counting at all. Oh. Throw him into the crowd. Yeah, I'm trying, Chloe. Nah, you cannot. There are invisible walls, Chloe. You cannot be thrown.
Yep, this is the payback. Oh. Oh no. Get inside the ring, man. And there we go. There it is. Yeah, it's so weird when there are no commentators speaking in the background. But we've got the red flame uh, fatty guy out of it. <laughs> All right, and now maybe we can take out Kane in this. Training with Lira, yeah, exactly, Miz. We are following our rules in here. A casket match with Kane? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I did not expect that. Let's see if there are any others. Uh... Okay, so I've done that already. There's nothing new in here. Yep, done with those with the MVPs as well. No points for me to upgrade because the, the storyline is not finished. And uh, we're going to the see what's happening. The red flame with... was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. <laughs> Lael Maroja is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now, yeah. It's gonna be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? as yeah, what Check it? your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use him, tell Kane his ex says hello. Oh, so it's like, <clears throat> in quotes, a gift. I see, I see. Hmm. What's going to happen now? Now I'm even curious. Now I'm more curious about this. I'm not losing my title today, no matter what, guys. Thank you, Simon. Come on, let's go, let's go. The mere presence of the devil's favorite demon. A chilly monstrosity. And a disdain for all humanity. It's the big red machine. <laughs> and now it's our now entrance. A journey to greatness.
There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? It's so weird the way he is, he is moving with the, the belt in it, in its hand. It feels like they are like, a, feel like it's stuck with glue or something, even though it's not really the case. Oh, so this is what it was the casket. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. It had, in real life, it hasn't been a casket match in like years until now, guys. So this is why I wasn't sure what casket match actually is. But let's do it. Let's win this, guys. We got this. Thank you, Simon. And the we are going to do our best. Ginger Fox, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And welcome Serious to WWE. We are here to pummel some great superstars welcome. with our character and our journey to become the best of the best. The and we are here having a match with the legendary Kane. And we are having a casket match. Being in one of those? I'm doing it amazing and I'm pretty excited about it. As usual about this game. How about you, Ginger? How is your day going? The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? He catches Thank God I have objectives. That would have been even harder. Oh, ouch. Use breast knuckles. Wait, where are the breast knuckles? Oh, you execute this payback press. Oh. I see, I see, I see. So this is how it's what how it is about. I have to use this. Now where are them? Do I have them in the hand? For a lot of WWE purists, SmackDown. To execute this payback, press to toggle the power of the punch payback. If not, and then when you're special. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. traditionally been the quote unquote wrestling show. And that was a precisely measured attack. So I need to get to fulfill my bar. I dropped a like. Thank you very much, Ginger. I really appreciate it and hope you will in, hope One you are enjoying another. this and you and Every everyone else. Strike more devastating than the last. Smash. We need to fill our bar Don't to be able to the yellow bar to get to use the, the breast knuckles. Is now under heavy so let's do some stun amazing combos on quick. this guy. Come on. Kane, you are going down tonight. Good night. The champ just striking at will. Merciless display towards the challenger. Come on. Get up. Get up, Kane. I'm not done with you. Dirty move paybacks. Wait, is this time? Low blow, poison mist. Power of the punch and fireball are dirty move paybacks that can. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, dirty moves. I was wondering what is this about, but then you're like, yeah, you, you, you can get disqualified if you're using uh, uh, cheating things, stuff. 
All right. Let's move paybacks like uh, okay. But it's still not filled. Big boot. Kane's piercing gaze landing squarely on his opponent. Clear for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted D T connects. Oof. Oof. Kick finds it. He gets out of the way. lands and he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about getting back into the ring he switches it back around oh what an elbow hmm. oh strikes with the and we just saw some serious offense I have the bar filled. Big. I why is no why is not working? I pre, I'm holding right trigger and I'm pressing Y and nothing is happening and I'm taking damage for no reason. Getting put to the test here. Hellacious offense delivered by Kane. Had that one scouted. Sent into the corner. Boom! Kick to the face for your troubles. Going for a power slam, steps down from behind into an inverted DDT. Do I have to feel that entirely to be able to use it? Kane prevents the attack from connecting. Oh, pulled off! One handed. I don't understand. How can I use this freaking breast knuckles? Because they are equipped. Okay, so I toggle it. When special meter is full, it, it is. Or oh, it has Outside to be like the all the bars, now. not What's only the one. Here? Oh man, he has fired up now. And we know when he has a chair in hand, things get messy in a hurry. Shot connects. Caught with a punch. Luster behind that kick. And there was some force on that move. Saw that one coming. Can't quite get him there. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Utter dominance from Kane. Brutal attacks here from Kane. And a menacing look from Kane. Good night, Nodi. Thank you for joining. And a double axe handle smash. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. You dare to mess with Kane, and you whip to the sky. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That didn't look good at all. A ringside doctor's on hand if needed. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Just one step ahead. Kane gets that set right back to him. Oh, God, that hurt. Kane gets out of the way. Ooh. He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, God, oh, that one. That's how you destroy an opponent. Oh, come on. This is just brutal. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. And back in the ring we go. If this connects, it is over. Tombstone. This is the time to get them in the casket and try to win this thing. Oh, well. For some reason, the combination that the game tells me doesn't work at all. I'm holding up to right trigger. I'm pressing Y. And uh, there is no brass knuckles happening on the screen. It's only me taking a beating for no reason because the game doesn't know to explain properly what I have to do. And this might not have a pleasant ending. In this situation, guys. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Kane has really taken control. 
control here. Kane cannot be stopped right now. And he's taking this to the outside now. And Kane is clearly looking for a fight here. This one's close to over. Can they get it? Yeah, into the casket. Oh, well. The lip. Doing their best to try and close the casket. Just delaying the inevitable. I'm, I'm calling it, guys. If and if I lose this, is because the game doesn't know how to explain how to use uh, the stupid breast knuckles. I've been holding all the buttons that they are on the screen, and uh, literally nothing happened. I, I hold right trigger, I press Y, I only took damage from Kane. So if I'm losing this one, it's on the game. I have to, I have to be honest about it, guys. If, you, if you're making a game, you have to actually explain properly what you have to press. So I press all the buttons that were saying in the objective there. I don't even know why I'm struggling this for some reason. Oh! I can't believe they actually made it out of the casket! Fishing for something beneath the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon. Kane is on fire right now. There's no stopping the big red monster. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. Hey, come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting really a bit of spitting for? here for no reason. Stop at this. Let me check it one last time for freaking sake in this. Yes, and it was the special met meter fool. I hold right trigger, I pressed Y. Nothing happened. No breast knuckles. Like, where are the breast knuckles game? I have them equipped. I am close, I'm holding right trigger, I'm pressing Y. Where are no breast knuckles? Oh, that's how you establish dominance. He's been quickly taking control here. He's got that determined look now. Oh, he's got him here, he's got him up. And Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. The peak of punishment there, and Kane relishing in that fact. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. He went fishing and reeled in a shovel. In this case, that's absolutely what he was hoping for. Oh, how about you take a shovel across your dome? One wicked attack after another. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Right around into a neck breaker. What offense from the big red monster. Everything's in Kane's favor now. another one oh, caught the kick intercepted nice sweep of the leg Kane trying to fire himself up boom what a right gosh he saw it coming taking advantage come on I'm pressing the brace knuckles Second, this superstar building momentum, sweeping the leg. Things are looking up. What are the breast knuckles? Oh, good defense. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago. But it is a special meter fool, like I'm literally seeing there it's literally blue blue. Oh look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Striking at will. Whoa, that was a stiff chair shot to the door. Bam! Strong boy. Kane turns it around. Just punched him right in the middle. The 
devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. He climbed. Okay, you know what? I'm going to restart the match. Because I, there are no breast knuckles. I'm, I'm holding the buttons. There are no breast knuckles. Me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? It has to be something. Maybe it's a bug. I'm not sure. I'm pressing all the buttons. Jane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And he's able to fight Kane off. <laughs> Strong Irish whip. And the forearm smash. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Perched up top. Catches nothing but air. Kane is locked in on his opponent now. Uh-oh. Flapjack. Way up there. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Blast off. Whoa, what a landing. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. And the forearm smash. Oh, God, that hurt. Boom. Oh, yeah, I don't understand how to equip the brass knuckles. him back in now, clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Counters that. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. Oh, my goodness. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. A complete lack of sportsmanship from the challenger there. Oh, man, what a boot. Big four. Slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Kane gets out of the way. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Finds the room to land a back elbow. That was a furious assault from the champion. Each blow coming in harder than the last. Knee right to the gut. <laughs> yeah, Chloe, I'm trying to understand how to use the breast knuckles because I'm pressing the Back buttons the and nothing ring. is happening for some reason. Knee finds the abdomen. Placing them into the corner. Expecting a kick to the face. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Oh, oh no. This is not good. This is over. This is over. Close call but maybe not. Superstar. Here we go! Uh-oh! Oh my god, what a move! Oh, look at this! 
fist just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. And look at Kane now. Okay, so. Perching. How do I do the breast knuckles? I've toggled it. And then I hold it. And then I pressed Y. And nothing happened. Self up top. Like seriously, no. I've been reading the objective for 10 times you can already. See as he rises, how vulnerable of a position he's in. From the top, fought back with a punch to the gut. into the casket it's about to get very dark in there desperately and they got out of the casket thankfully he steps foot in the ring again he steers clear of contact Picking up speed, building momentum, trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Oh, man. Big overhand. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Champ getting worked over here. Not what you want to see by any means. And this match will head back to the ring. <laughs> Wolf taking a swing straight to the face. Bludgeoning them with that bat. Ooh. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taken a toll. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. And things are just going from bad or worse. The big red monster sizing him up. It looks like Kane is about to secure this victory. Stone pile driver. Nailed it. Gonna see a new champ. Mm. Oh my god, this is so hard. I need more of I need more details because the yet. breast knuckles Apparently are not working. I'm pressing all the done. buttons on my controller and nothing is happening. I press the combo that it, the Returning game told me told me to do. Still no breast knuckles. I don't understand, guys. Like, why does the breast knuckles don't work? That's how you wear down your opponent. It's always doing the clothesline, and I don't want the clothesline. I want the breast knuckles. The down with the leg drop. What now? Uh, stop right to the gut. Kane is really taking control here. Brutal attacks here from Kane. Put her in a position now. Yeah, I, I need to restart because I don't understand if he, is it a bug? Is it not a bug? They still make me feel a I don't uneasy. understand at all. Imagine being trapped in one of those. Oh, that's a natural reaction, Cole. But here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Hung out to dry across the middle rope. Electro guillotine. Kane 
is on fire right now. Brutal attacks here from Kane. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Got the leg and elbow drop. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Looking for a scoop slam, no, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. Oh, with a three. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Bang! Kane gets that sent right back to him. Okay, so let me check it one more time in this case. We execute when? Yeah, I, I don't understand. Like seriously. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. He's got the answer for that one. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Going for a power slam, steps down. Instead delivers the inverted DDT. Ooh. He's able to sidestep there. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. The hits adding up a little on the champ. Yeah, well, that's Kane bringing Taylor to the competition. Inverted DDT. Saw that coming. Oh, God. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight? Neck breaker. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. Kane is proving that the fire inside him is burning stronger than ever. He returns to the ring. Working the midsection there. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. Oh, Kane waylays him. Oh, this is not good. Can they close? They did it! They survived for now! Going to be breathing a sigh of relief. Setting foot in the ring now. Kane with the grip. All the way up. Shrunk slam straight to hell. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is... Sends their opponent into the casket. Oh, now wow. This one may be over. Can they close the casket? But the, the opponent is trying to fight back. It's a battle of wills here. They did it. They survived for now. I'm going to be breathing a sigh of relief. He'll take things into the ring. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Utter dominance from Kane. Everything's in Kane's favor now. Kane with some good timing here. An awesome. 
awesome display of confidence from the Big Red Machine. Oh, I heard a snap. his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Take off. Oh, my! He is having his way in this one now. Yeah, it looks like he's offloading all of his anger. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. The crank in the head. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Opportunity here to seal them in that casket. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. The bear hug cinched in. Got to find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Re-entering the ring now. Ah, oh, the impact on that clothesline. And there's another one. Oh, caught the kick. Intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. Guys, I really don't understand. I press, I hold right trigger, I press Y. Y is not doing it. Like, seriously now. I seriously don't understand why doesn't it work. Because I'm trying to, I'm doing my best to get that bar full. I'm pressing, I'm holding right trigger, I'm pressing the Y button. And that's it. I don't understand, like, I'm... I've been doing, trying it for, it's been already 40 minutes and the, there, there is still no breast knuckles happening on my screen and especially on your screen guys, the one you're watching. Hey John, welcome to the stream, how are you doing my friend? Yeah, I'm here on a little conflict because I literally don't understand how to use the breast knuckles because for some reason it doesn't work and I don't know why it doesn't work, especially. Is there like a payback thing? Actually wait, I had Toggle primary payback. I was having the breast knuckles. Why is still doing the... Uh, how should I say? The... The non-breast knuckles thingy. Because it's doing the comeback move. No breast knuckles. Opponent, even though they are picked up. Smash. I hope you are well, John. From the middle rope. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. One more time because I, I'm little. He, we, we no can be so much that I cannot do anymore. Match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? <laughs> That's a natural reaction, Cole. But here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Oh, oh what a kick! Ooh, devastating kick! Great athleticism. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh! Oof. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Knee right to the gut. Look at this. Oh, a backbreaker. Right to the spine. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Spiked. Tag with a punch. 
And the Devil's favorite demon turns his twisted eyes to a fearful audience. Punch lands. A rolling elbow. Oh, look at mounting and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. My God, what a striking display. Don't hang on just a sec. Oh, oh he should have hit it now. The challenger is not in a great place. How, yeah, this, how did it do it? Anyone out yet. I don't understand. Could still go either way. I have no idea how did it work. Big boot. Oh, oh man! Great wherewithal on the counter. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants to the outside. This could get wild. Ring IQ on display there. Ooh. He must have seen that coming. Gets inside the ring. Oh, into the catch. Oh, no. Go. Oh, no. Rest in pieces. Doing their best. And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. Looking to take flight here. He catches Kane with a count. Here we go. Diving forearm smash. Over the top and into the casket. This is over. This is over. Ah. I can't believe they actually made it out of the casket. It was still good to be true. He's getting fired up. Okay. Now. Really feeding off this crowd. He's heading back to the ring. Oh, wow. Kane trying to fire himself up. Whoa, right into a shot block. Debilitating counter. Out Come on. Ring. What's his plan here? Oh, oh my God. The, the, the power on this guy. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Boom, oh, what an elbow. Looking to vanquish the devil's favorite demon. Hoist it up. Boom, feast your eyes. They are primed for the casket now. But after that move, do you have the energy to get them in? Boom. The kick connects. He can create some space. Into the ring again. There's a Russian leg sweep. These will keep you down. Oh, 
Oh, you must be kidding. And he got out of the casket. Thankfully. Oh! And look at Kane now, perching himself up top. From the top. Wow, oh, straight to the floor. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Heading up, he's thinking back. Okay, launching. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. And he's able to fight Kane off. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. And welcome to Kane's Labyrinth of. Ah, uh, classic! Oh no. With the tombstone. The title might change hands. Oh. It's about to get very dark in there. Trying to force the casket. Not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently closing that casket is easier said than done. This could be big. Going up high. From the top. Rough landing. Um, Uh-oh. Dodges. a well-placed punch. What a clubbing blow to the back. What a punch. What offense from the Big Red Monster. There's no stopping the Big Red Monster. And Kane still showing some fire in this matchup. Kane doing everything he can to take control of this matchup once again. Ah, striking with an A. Oh, wait, this way I'm going to lose S stupid game. <laughs> Doing their best to try and close the casket. Just delaying the... Close call for that superstar. How the hell did they survive? I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. What offense from the big red monster. Kane cannot be stopped right now. Kane, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Got a slam straight to hell. Caskets just feet away. He's got to act fast if he wants to end this match. Desperately trying to force the casket closed. Their opponent showing massive resistance. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose it. And after the game, finally... I can't believe this. The game is broken AF. I barely managed to do the breast knuckles and the game made me lose. Thank you, game. Deep, deep respect for you, game, for not explaining properly how to use the breast knuckles and make me lose the game, too. After that. That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything now I have to like do it just all go because the game is broken. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Yeah, sorry for getting angry guys, but it's unacceptable. You tell me how to press some buttons on the screen to do the an ability and then, then it's not doing that. It's pretty annoying, you know? I literally did what the game told me to do. Have that bar, bar field. On the DDT. Holding right trigger. 
holding Waikyu. Bang! Vicious boot! Drops the hammer right on the lower You can't back. be like that, game. Coming down with a leg drop. And he'll leave the ring for I'm almost for two hours at this battle just because there is no button working. He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Hey, you know, welcome to the stream. I'm doing well, just a bit. I'm a bit pissed now because there is a combo on the game that doesn't really work counter. properly, and it's I'm stuck in this because I can I have to do that objective. But I'm okay. Turns the tide uh, for the knee to the abdomen. Hope you're well too, and thank you for joining. Kane gets that sent right back to him. Oh, attack to the midsection. The champ trying to roll with these hits. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. He turns it around. An elbow will break that up. Oh no, into the casket. Blows the lid and it's over. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago, back in it now. DDT. for each other's offense here. He saw that one coming. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Understanding that winning the title is all that matters. Do anything to get the advantage. And he's able to fight Kane off. Scouted. Sends their opponent oh, into the wow. casket. Now this one may be over. <laughs> Trying to force the <laughs> and they got out of the casket. Thankfully. Headed to the top now. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. And look at Kane now, perching himself up top. From the top, shot to the gut will break things up. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Oh, oh. well placed kick. Oh, ouch. Looking to vanquish the devil's favorite demon. Up into the torture rack. This is the moment. This has to be it. And waiting ringside is a nice cozy casket with his name on it. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Oof! Stiff kick. Kane gets out of the way. Lights out. Connects. 
The champ looking out of sorts. You dare to mess with Kane, and you will get burned. Oh, we've got not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently, closing that casket is easier said than done. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Tie on the counter. From the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. And he sends him into the corner. Wicked clothesline. An awesome display of confidence from the big red machine. Big boot. Vicious. Caught in a bad position here. Flamed across the way. Aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? And Kane once again finding the will to stay in this matchup. Kane has the advantage here. Sends their opponent into the casket. Now this one may be over. Doing their best to try and close the casket. And they're able to fight their way out of the casket. They can't be human. That's ridiculous. Looking for a high-risk move. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. Look at this. Just what a barrage of stops. Kane is really taking control here. Everything's in Kane's favor now. The big red monster. Yeah, if he's doing that, it's already over. I don't understand no why I'm the pressing the right hold right trigger, I'm pressing Y button and there is no freaking press knuckle happening. Why it's not happening? Game, explain. Game, please fix your bugs. Game, you're stupid. And then I play the game for destroying my controller literally and mashing my entire right trigger and Y and no press knuckle happening. I've literally been wasting two hours trying to do a stupid press knuckle ability that doesn't want to work, and I don't know why it's not working. It's always doing a comeback move, but I don't want that. I want the breast knuckles. I don't want close lines. I want the breast knuckles that doesn't want to work at all, and it's getting me so angry at this rate. Because I'm literally staying on the same spot for no reason. And yes, I'm having the stamina bar field, guys, if you're he wondering. He Kane with a counter. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. He manages to fight out with a series of punches. Mm. Oh. Bell clap. Kane turns it around. Out of the ring and into the casket. The end is near. Yeah. Trying to close the lip. Oh! Utter dominance from Kane. There's no stopping the big red monster. Big kick. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Shot to the jaw. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. And it appears the fear factor not at play there. Kane is being met toe to toe with a resistance he didn't expect. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Second, this superstar building momentum, sweeping the leg. 
I don't want to use the close line, guys. I want the breast knuckles and I'm literally holding right trigger and I'm holding the YQ. When the special meter is full and it is, hold right trigger and press Y. I've been doing it for seven, one, 700 times already and the game doesn't want to work. I don't understand. It's equipped you. Come on. He was doing the close line again. I don't want to do the close line. This is game. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, clubbing blow. Tossed into the casket. It's about to get very dark in there. Trying to... Close call for that superstar. If anyone knows in the chat why it doesn't work, please tell me. Because I'm literally at the spot where I don't understand why the game doesn't want to cooperate to with my now. with my commands. I've literally done that. I had the poor I had the bar full filled. I have equipped the breast knuckles. You can see there in the bottom left. I'm holding right trigger. I'm meshing the freaking Y. I think I'm going to break my controller how much I'm spamming that button. And it still doesn't want to work, guys. Like I seriously don't understand. He's doing this close line thingy, and I don't want to do the close line. Welcome back, bro. I'm, I'm still trying to understand how to use an ability the game doesn't want to tell me. For some reason, it doesn't work. Because I literally don't know how is that working. Like, I'm pressing the button. And, and I have the special meter full. I'm holding that. I'm pressing Y. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Trying the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. Up into the torture rack. Oh! Feast your eyes. Looks like the champ is going to retain. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Ow, bam. Oof. Over the top and into the casket. Yeah, this guy still because the breast knuckles doesn't want to work. Like seriously. I'm desperately trying to I'm trying my best to press that button and it doesn't want to work. I don't understand why it doesn't want to work. I'm literally pressing all the buttons on my controller at this point. Climbs back inside. Boom! What an elbow! He eludes the contact. Back elbow blows that one up. Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. Pure, unadulterated sadism at the hands of Kane. The destruction of the body is just about complete. This is where Kane feels the most... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, I literally don't know what's wrong with this game. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? Oh, that's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket, and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ has to face anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Flipping senton finds the mark. Oh! Strikes with a kick. Ooh! He was waiting for him to make his move. Tossed into the corner. What a counter! Oh! 
Challenger's a little worse for wear now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Ooh! Boom! Watch out! What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. I actually thought it was a bow to do it. He reverses it. Man, strikes. Wow. Lands a kick to the gut. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Counters on counters with Superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the Superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago. Back in it now. Answering back. Ooh, harsh kick. The challenger is in some big trouble. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Side rush and leg sweep. Boom. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Kane gets out of the way. Quick exchange of counters there. Oh, ooh, ooh, rocking the jaw. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. And that was an expertly executed DDT. And cheers. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. A rolling elbow. Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. The champ has this one in hand now. Overhand shots and elbows and forearms striking at will. 
A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. Yeah, it really looks like Kane's strong. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Elbow flow saying not today. Oh, the impact off that clothesline. And there's another one. Oh, caught the kick, intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. Bam! He fends off the attack. Inverted DDT that could turn this around. Boom! And he's sadly taking control here. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Ooh, stinging kick. Oof. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Up into the torture rack. Oh! Feast your eyes. This has to be it. They're just dead weight right now. What do you do with dead weight, Saxton? You put it in a casket. I need him to wake up so I can use the breast necklace. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is... I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago. Back in it now. The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this... Hmm. But I'm already doing it. Like I, I still don't understand. Like I've all I'm trying, guys, is doing that thing, pressing to toggle. I'm toggling it because I can see the breast knuckles. I'm holding right trigger and I'm pressing Y and it's doing the clothesline. I don't want the clothesline. I want the breast knuckles animation. And it doesn't and work quick. for some reason. And I have it equipped. Big time clothesline. Good grief. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Now he's got him here. He's got him up. And Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. Well, it was a good fight while it lasted, but this is simply what Kane does. Physical imposition and utter destruction. There's a reason they call him the Devil's favorite demon, Byron. It's because of scenes like this. Oh, no. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Oh, man. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Okay, this could be too much. A sledgehammer? Really? Oh. Oh, Kane waylays him. He's got him in his grasp. Absolutely spiked. DDT. This demonic look from Kane is very foreboding. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh, into the casket they go. Oh, no. Rest in pieces. Can they close the casket, but the, the opponent is... And then they survive! I can't believe they actually made it out of the casket. Oh! Some hard offense landing on the champ. That kind of offense from Kane being fueled by Hellfire and Brimstone. From the top. Oh, and just completely off target. There. A terribly risky move, and it did not pay off. Icarus could have done it better. He'll head to the ring. Look out! Diving forearm smash! WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. And that was a well-executed attack. Out of the ring and into the casket. The end is... Yeah, I'm gonna get destroyed again. I'm gonna restart this. No matter how many times...
times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine because I don't understand how to use the breast knuckles. I'm mashing the buttons, no breast knuckles. I press the ones exactly the game told me to press, and no breast knuckles. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. Striking at will. An endless bombardment from the champion. The challenger has to be rocked. Quick thinking pays off. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Maybe I have to be far away from him. I'm gonna try this. When he's far away, I'm gonna try to use the breast knuckles. Maybe that's the problem that I'm having. Oh, or maybe not. Able to give him the slip. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. To the stomach. Got flipped upside down there. Picking up speed, building momentum, trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to understand how to use it. It doesn't work. It really, really doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, strong impact. <laughs> Big back body drop. Oh, look at strike. Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of them. I'm oh, gonna tap out. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Kane gets that set right back. Ah, oh, the impact off that clothesline. Another one. Oh, caught the kick. Intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. And the devil's favorite demon turns his twisted eyes to a fearful audience. Back in the ring now. Was ready for that. Oh. Kane prevents the attack from connecting. And another counter. There he goes. position with your feet tied up like that. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oh, Kane counters. Snapmare takeover. Followed by. He moved, but can he capitalize? Bell clap. Neck breaker. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, kick connects. Evading offense. Knee right to the gut. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Hey Davis, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. I'm here trying to fight Kane and trying to use the breast knuckles, but the combo doesn't work for some reason. And, he's able to and I'm getting beaten and getting a beating for no reason. Because the game doesn't want to cooperate with me trying to do the breast knuckle thingy, even though I'm using it. Arm ringer. Punch to the face. 
position here. Into the casket. If they close the top, this one's Oh, over. how did it go, Davis? He steps foot in the ring again. I'm glad you like it, Davis. On but he has to be defeated today. Look at that gash on the face of Kane. The end could be near. Stay focused and make your way to the casket. Look at all these oh my God. The superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is... I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago. Back in it now. Oof. Out of the way in time. Sends their opponent into the casket. Now this one may be over. And returning to the rank. I cannot even is move. Really showing now. Doing their best to try. Not ready to put the lid on this one yet. Apparently, closing that casket is easier said than done. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. With the reversal. Grabbing something on their turn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Finally. Oh, my God. I have no idea how I did it, but finally. Let's finish this already. Come on! I don't want to do this for the 100th time in a row. Ah, oh, come on! Stop resisting! You are, you are, the game is broken. I barely managed to use the freaking breast knuckles. I've been trying for two hours and you're resisting it too. You barely have any... Stamina left. What the heck, game? This is unfair. Gee, stop resisting. I'm, my fingers are about to die at this rate. My controller probably faster than my fingers. Finally! Stupid game with your stupid breast knuckle that doesn't work. God damn it. <sighs> I can't believe he defeated the big red machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Bro, for freaking sake, make a freaking game that know how to use the freaking brace knuckles for freaking pressing right trigger and why it doesn't work for freaking game. The dark horse manages to win another race. <sighs> and I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. 
The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe has. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip. Was that really necessary from Damn. Roman Reigns? I detected no lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. Oh my god, brothers, EXT. How in the world? I'm sorry, I have to break out of character here, but how in the world you managed to do the breast knuckles thingy? I've been having stamina full. I've been having the bar yet. I've been holding right sugar. I've been meshing out of my freaking existence the Y button and there was no breast knuckles happening. I've been stuck in here for two hours doing a stupid breast knuckles button that didn't want to work. After two hours, it decided to work. This game is bugged. <laughs> I, I, I have to admit it. But thank God it worked. Uh, but thank you so much, guys. And I'm really sorry for getting very pissed over it. But the games need some big bug fixing sometimes. But hey, thank God it worked. Yeah, sorry, Davis, as well. And sorry for everybody else. But it, I did not know how. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So if you if you went to another route. It makes sense in this case. <sighs> Jeez. Looks like you got to the uh, you've got to the less buggiest route in this case. In this case. <laughs> I feel like I was about to break my controller literally because I'm literally pressing uh, with both two fingers at the same time. And the game was literally messing with my neurons. I was about to actually lose all my, uh, how should I say, all my sanity. But hey, guess it happened. Well, we are here. Finally, we can progress. Ah, damn. I felt like I was playing Prince of Persia on Immortal, literally. But this time I was playing with a buggy configuration. Is it, and there in Prince of Persia was only... I had to just be patient and uh, learn the enemy mistakes to get advantage. But here it was literally the opposite. The game was literally telling me, oh, you have to do that uh, stupid uh, breast knuckles that... Oh my god, I forgot to fix it. It, be it works only one in one in 1,000 situations. Oh, let's not tell the gamers because oh how much how much how many are going to use this something like that it's literally unacceptable when you make a game you actually may have to make it work okay you explained it but why it didn't work if you explained it ah anyways let's see what we are going to have here on the on the roster guys all it's only missing here but i don't think i have any any other missions and after what Roman Reigns said there, they even make it even worse. And now I want, I want even more to, to pummel this guy to actually take him down for good. Oh well, let's go. What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh yes, what a huge and impressive victory! Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. <laughs> You've been in the show for a hot minute. Got a few lucky breaks. And all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. Texas Peach doesn't exist for free, I guess anyways, that guy again. Um, Chloe, uh, I maybe, I'm not sure if you're like probably a bit in the delay. It might have, because we already beat Kane. It's uh, only another cutscene on another part of story here. 
Because, yeah, Mizzy's here. It's gonna pro appear, like, multiple times in this. Okay. Okay. I would have to say that Lita Road was after actually was oh, never mind. Done, Becky Lynch after the cutscene, guys, I'm gonna say the WWE Women's idea. Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. <laughs> if only it would be the same as in real life. And he's going to do it, but I forgot who is going to be in the real life WrestleMania. Who is Gunther defending it from? The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship! Let's go! The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre, guys, is here. <laughs> From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. That girl sounds like it, yes. Uh, no, it's actually her real life voice, Chloe. It's no robot or something. Stone is the chosen one, always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in WWE. Well, Drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be, and he will do anything to stay there. Well, we know Drew is rarely ever in a good mood, and I got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight. Prepare to see a heavy, hard-hitting affair. Okay, now it should Galvin be us. Into yep. Defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. The Dark Horse is here, guys. Let's go. Just listen to that crowd. He's a universal champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started.
Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal champion, a superstar! Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get more than a year tonight. Already. Falls count anywhere match. Big kick. Oh. Will they tap? Hey, look at this. Kamora lock. Nowhere to go, but perhaps. Oh, my God. They broke out of it. He's one step ahead there. Ooh, harsh kick. Uh-oh. Oh, it's, oh, my goodness. The knee right to the gut. Oh, he had the wherewithal to counter McIntyre. Boom. Oh, stop, stop, stop. That would have been too easy, guys. With the pin technique. Ooh, but I wanted to try. Saw it coming. Ooh. And he barely evades. Elbow to the face will stop you cold. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Kind of training back and forth blows now. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Hammerlock. Oh, down by the DDT. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to gain this. Flying. Whoa, look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Yeah, this is going smoothly. And it could cost him. He's got him in the crosshairs. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. What's he open to find down there? I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. And he continues to mount on the pressure. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Great reversal. Stops the kick. Close line takes him down. Forget about it. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Uh oh. Brother Vicious, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? To welcome to there. WWE. And a uh, headbutt to the groin. That was low. Love it or hate it. It might hope just be doing the best well. in these circumstances. I hope you will enjoy me beating down this Scottish warrior, <laughs> McIntyre. Oh. oh, he will beat me. Makes the cover. Kick out at one. Even the ref can't believe it. Unbelievable. Kick out at one. Unbelievable. More like inhuman. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew's accustomed to putting out so many men with that maneuver. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Flipping senton, that'll take the wind right out of you. Oh. That dodge can buy Drew time. 
Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Bell clap. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Big time move coming up. Oh! What's he gonna do? Coming back in the ring. From the top, double axe handle connects. Steer clear of that. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Big kick. Stick How am I? I'm okay. I'm uh, pretty, pretty thrilled for this game. the shoulders. Here it comes. Oh, a tiebreaker. Oh no. Picture perfect Falcon Arrow. McIntyre basically telling him that this is what dominance really looks like. Great counter. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh no. Lock, submission move. Will they take He is doing whatever he can to break the Kamara, and he does. Big boot. Vicious. Covered by the champ. He's oh. on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. Oh, I cannot sprint anymore. Top rope. Looking for something, anything under the ring. The steel chair. Never as innocent as it looks. And impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, God. Just one. Now a pen for the championship. No title. Oh, wow. The so that close, guys, to three. So close. Could spell doom for McIntyre. Up into the torture rack. Boom! Feast your eyes. A championship level move. No, he beats the cat. <laughs> championship. Let us see you right here, vicious. <laughs> the champ will have to dig deeper now. Right, it might but... be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Sure, anything will. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Face first wow. the chair. He manages to escape it. Oh. An agile escape. McIntyre. No! <laughs> Stupid game. I only had one more button to press. <laughs> I was so close. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, can you think of a champion oh, well, here we go again. for a year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has one of the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre. Yeah, he got me in the last possible second when I had to match the button. McIntyre turns things around. No, oh, McIntyre. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. He's turning the table. 
Bills. Solid punch. Oh, bell clap. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. One after another. The champ just striking at will. Merciless display towards the challenger. Knew what was coming there. Flipping same time. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 120. Watch the knee. Devastating elbow. He got whipped into that corner. Belly to belly, way overhead. The champ taking their share of hits now. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Oh, boy. Bell clap. Knee right to the face. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverting DDT cuts. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Striking at cover by the champ. And he is saved by the ropes. Looking for a little bit of high risk here at six. Lift off. Look out below. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Uh-oh. Clearing off the announce table. This is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. And did you hear the impact of that? He skirts around it. Oh, did you hear that? Uh, I cannot even counter those. Uh oh. German suplex released! Such a potent display of power and control there. Comes back into the ring. I don't know what they're looking for here. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Oh, bell clap. from McIntyre. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like McIntyre. Oh, hold on a second. What, what is happening? Blatant disregard for their opponent. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Wow, and now McIntyre is wearing a crimson mask. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can cut back from this many. McIntyre revert. Uh-oh. Future shot from McIntyre. The title's in jeopardy here. Right, I think the paradigm has shifted. Oh, and he just kicked out. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. The Scottish warrior thought he had his opponent's number there, but he was sorely mistaken. He'll head to the ring. No way. Boom, what impact. 
absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. Oh. And through the pain, McIntyre continues to bring the fight. Drew keeps ruling himself through this matchup with game-changing displays like that. Deconstructing the knee there. Just a ferocious assault from McIntyre. Drew is looking thrilled with the beating he's putting on. Whoa! Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Oh. Oh, flat out power into the scoop slam. The game doesn't give me a chance to have a reversal or something anymore. I'm literally stunned. I cannot move. McIntyre looking highly motivated right now. Oh. Stop to the gut, too. Look at this. Just unloading. Producing a trampling. These consecutive attacks have him really... In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Oh! Boom! <laughs> Evades the attack. Across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. I think the champ's got it. <laughs> Plant it down across the back. <laughs> Boom, what a kick. Now, if it gets over. Yeah. It was actually over. Better tonight. As the champ reaches 365 that was unfortunate. Title, can you think of a champion who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Oh, a tiebreaker! Oh, look at mounting, and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. My God, what a striking display. The champ isn't backing off, bringing the lightning and thunder with every single strike. He moves just in time. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. And a message sent there letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. So much damage inflicted. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Whoa! Oh, God! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Champ now having to deal with the relentless 
strikes from a motivated challenger. He climbs into the ring. He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. A bad place to be for the challenger. False count anywhere matches are absolutely no joke. And they're showing us that firsthand right now. Cover! And a strong kick out in one. I don't know what more this superstar could do to put him away. McIntyre looking to put an end to his hunt. McIntyre gets met with a response. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Champ looking to end this. No, he lets him out. Curious decision there, Michael. Oh, big forearm. Square impact. The champ shoulders are down. He's taking this to the floor now. And what's he looking for here? Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. The champ will stay champ. Pick! And he gets set back into the ring. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. No, stops the count at two. Good Lord, scarily close to three. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Avoiding contact. Oh! The champion into the cover! Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Oh. Dragon screw. Uh oh New champion! Drew flexing his muscle as he attempts to rally the troops. And a well-executed move we just saw there. The champ looking worn out. Letting this match go a little longer than is strictly advisable. Might want to try making use of that stipulation. It's a not good drop for Wow! Is it up? The cover! Emphatic kick out from the champion. So, so close. That could have been it. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Pinching in a waist lock, but right hands from the opposition. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. Now that Come on. Amazing. Just wow. Able to kick out. I thought the champ Thank you, brother win. Vicious. This is how much the I hope championship so too. means. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pour. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot. I oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Planning on what to do next. Strong elbows right on the mark. Oh. Ow. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Able to stop the pin count here. Well, that'll do some serious damage. The 
Oh, come on! I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And up the turnbuckles we go. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's in that chair to play mind games with his opponent. He grabbed the chair. Wow, how much this guy match. resists. I did not expect Ooh. that. He saw it coming. Oh, He's returning fire. Up into the torture rack. Another one bites the dust to the champ. No, wow! I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Kicks out. He still has life. Almost inhuman at this point. That dodge can buy Drew time. Hanging back with their own counter. It's a revolving door of forearms. Listen to the impact. Perched on the shoulders, feast your eyes. The champions need to finish the job. Cover. There we go, finally. Oh my God. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion of Is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title. Wow, this battle was long. Drew literally went so much, so close to get to almost uh, three. So, so many close calls. Yeah, I've, I've got as well beaten as at the same time, because I was not giving giving a great timings for the reversals. Hey, it was amazing, and I want to see what's going to happen next from this. Hmm. I wonder what's what's going to happen from now on because I, I'm not seeing any other optional matches, and it's still missing in here going probably to give us uh, any way of his uh, amazing, uh, in quotes, amazing plans. But let's hear them because if you told they don't me have any a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion. I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we going to keep doing this? I am the most must see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay. And what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow in Good yours night, brother too. Vicious. Thank you for joining what the hell does now. that mean? 
You're amazing. What it means have a, have a is great I rest. hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. Oh, so we're having other options. We're having, again, impactful choices on the storyline. And I would like to see what Chaps has Miz for us, so let's go. Let's team up with Miz. You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. We are turning the point heel, guys. is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games? Definitely. <laughs> Not like we are playing a game right now, guys. But hey, there is. Let's continue the story. I want to see what Chefs has missed for us because I'm never, I'm not trusting him exactly like our character said. But hey, we did it, Masters Among Men. We got, we've got more points, and uh, let's let's use them especially. Let's get more attributes, and I like to give it for the defense or for the resilience because this is what I'm going to actually check them out. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to see the details, uh, not reset upgrades. Yeah, this is exactly by resilience. I'm, I'm going to get on this one level. And I will be getting another one on uh, grappling. Oh, I, I can. It's aerial running. This one I'm going to get on. Let me just spend the points in this case. And let's see what's on the social media. Oh, we're having an optional mission here with. Oh, with Carrion Cross. Okay. I look upon this undisputed universal champion and see nothing but the sense spill. Alright. What's this all about, Carrion? <laughs> or squish tank. Oh my god. Mr. Cross has earned the title shot. Good news, you're working with me, and we are going to make sure he never gets you in the ring. Where's the delete button when you need it? What I mean is... Oh, okay. wow, okay. Let's beat cross time in this case. No title defense? Well, that works out. Hmm. Let's beat the cross challenge. In this case. Okay, no. Oh, other social media ones, okay. Okay, so this is the same. Hmm. Let's see what's going to happen. We might be heels now and uh, people might actually... The crowd might actually be booing us from now on. It, it's a possibility. Yeah. Can I just say that you are looking spectacular tonight? You just bring this energy that lights up the locker room. Oh, man. Cross won his match real fast, huh? How can you tell? You look pasty and nauseous, and that always means one of your ideas is blown up in your face. Yeah, uh... Carrion caught Veer Mahan in the cross jacket right off the lockup. It was over in ten seconds. <laughs> ten seconds?! So who do I have to beat in nine seconds or less? Uh, Apollo Crews? If I had two minutes against him, I'd be fine. But nine seconds against anyone is nearly impossible. You suck, Troy. Good luck out there, champ. Wow. Ten seconds. So do I actually have to do 
a finisher or something? What's that supposed to mean? How are you about to beat somebody in 9 seconds? A man who has evolved to his purest form. The following contest is a Beat the Clock Challenge. Making his way to the ring from Midway State, Nigeria. Weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. Just take a look at Apollo's eyes. He is completely focused on succeeding. We've seen many forms of Cruz, but this might be the best version yet. Time for Cruz to execute on his vision. Well, I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. Yeah, good question. But we have to beat him in nine seconds. I wonder how the how is the game trick here? Hoping for a lightning quick stampede to victory. For us. It's the dark horse. second time limit match. It does feel like Miz has inadvertently put his champ in a no-win situation here. Biggest challenge tonight is not Apollo Crews, but the clock as he attempts a 10 second victory. The match is almost already over. Oh, wow. And a kick. Oh, no. Time's up, and this one goes down as a draw. Wait, what? I didn't manage to do anything, and it's already over. <laughs> Okay, it looks like it was pretty much impossible for us to do that in 10 seconds. I have no idea what just happened. I didn't even do anything. And for some reason, they gave us uh, the, the possibility for that. Hey, Orhit Budge, welcome to the stream. Good evening. How are you doing today? And welcome to a new game, especially here with WWE. Having some fun, throwing some punches. WWE Universal Championship! I hope you are well and thank you so much for joining. You and everyone else. We're here with our new opponent joining the ring. Here comes the most diabolical duo in WWE. Karrion Cross and Scarlet, the Doomsday Machine, and his sinister siren. 
Loyal to each other until the end of time. Cross and Scarlet are inseparable and incapable of showing any mercy inside the ring. A match made in, well, maybe not heaven. Oh, damn. Hey, or hit. Oh, sorry. Hey, or hit. Uh, great, you are okay, or hit. Sorry for quitting again. Hey, Seed. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to, like, skip them because I like how they are, like, having their entrances here. I want to see them. That's why I'm not skipping them. Calculating and cold. These two are exceptionally dangerous. They're like a pretty Whatever important part of them, win, and I enjoy Cross watching them. Scarlet will do it. Even Just though like they're Scarlet like the same as in real life. Time to fall and pray. And time is up for Cross and Scarlet's enemies. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to and see. And now it's about us Karrion coming. Cross. It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. There we go, let's do it! With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. And there we go. Let's do it. Another fo another fight for the Universal Championship title. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And his opponent. From Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! Everything has led to this for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The stakes do not get any higher than this. If the WWE Universal Champion's last match was a blitz, this one looks to be a battle oh. survival with both men trying to outlast the other in a last man standing match. Oh no. The Dark Horse is putting his title and body on the line. 
Whoever stands tall when the dust settles will have certainly earned the victory tonight. Well, I think the sands of the hourglass are running out from the top all the way to the outside, showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Ooh, stinging kick. He knows how to avoid contact. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Moved at the right time. Big four. Cross fires back. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh. oh yeah, going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Okay, so what do I have to do? Last man use everything. Oh, okay. So it's the last oh, man standing as usual. Oh, look out. You gotta be kidding me. What a reckless attack. Come on, start all counting. World, putting it all on the line. Boom. And Cross evades that. The challenger not looking good right now. And we're deep into this last man standing match now. Every blow makes it harder and harder to stay off the ground. Cross is now being sized up. Hoist it up. Down right. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. We have to wait for 10 seconds. Is the last man standing? Standing. It's getting close. There we go. It was a little bit easier. Here is your winner. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. <laughs> we did it boys and it, I think this was one of the fastest matches I ever had since I started playing this <laughs> yeah I think if, if, if all the games would be like that all the matches I mean would be like that but hey we did it we've got the Optional storyline with Karrion Cross, and now we've got more points to upgrade and I'm going to be giving it for the for the grappling this one I'll be getting the points for this and Let's see what's on the social media You stood strong tonight you are crack That's <laughs> definitely not they and probably not not in the future either so what we have here, Javier Wood and R-Truth. Oh, okay. Let's see what R-Truth has to say about it. What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once in a lifetime experiences and everything is for a really important cause any one of those things by itself will probably be enough to say yes yeah that almost sounds too good to be true that's because it is most of that stuff i just made up i was trying to spark your interest but i am offering you a chance to help an important cause all you have to do is come to smackdown in wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. All right. You sure that's right? Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's going to know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? Yep. Let's go. Yeah. I'm sure whatever this cause really is, it helps someone who needs it. An extra day of travel for a good cause? Hmm. What could go wrong? Oh, lots of stuff. Flat tire? You could forget to pack your underwear? 
could run out of gas, but we're taking the plane. I always remind the pilots to fill up, and I'm almost positive they sell underwear in Wisconsin. So I think we're good. See you there. Sounds good, Truth. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm really curious what this is, how this is going to go on here. Man, the snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. So we've come all the way for nothing here. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Most likely. Yes, <laughs> but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. Okay. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? Terrible. I think this will be one of the most <laughs> amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. Well, I'm not surprised it's doing the same as, as Arthur is doing in the real life wrestling. It's pretty much going on the almost similar paths, but in, di in different situations. <laughs> I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. <laughs> Well, interesting situation. I'm, I, I'm going to see what's going to work out. <laughs> A few hours. Winter storms are actually pretty painful. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know how they are actually making their backup plans the following is in the real life, not in game. And is full. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Wow. It's so weird. It feels like in the pandemic situation with COVID, nobody is in is in the is in here. Empty hall. Empty arena, I mean. <laughs> Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else is glorious. Well, according to Robert Roode, no one measures up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. 
He's held the NXT title, Tag Team Championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. And now it's about our entrance time. Ready to make some noise in this silent arena. The Dark Horse. It's so sad that they have to do the entrances even though nobody is there to cheer for them. This is so weird. By the same time, if you're having an act to do, you have to keep it no matter what. Maybe if the champ takes his time here and stalls, Miz can get here and put an end to this farce of a show. Hey, it's just getting started. Give General Manager R Truth the chance. It's time to dig deep and get this one going. I would still find it awkward, even though I have to play a role, I would still have to find, I would find it awkward to do it with no one around, like in this situation. Introducing the challenger. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode! And his opponent, from Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! Yeah, no cheers. <laughs> no cheers from an empty There's arena. There's no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Oh, on the spot. Oh, wow. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, there it is, the that shovel. That is an absolutely terrifying-looking shovel. Nothing golden about it. Robert being the aggressor, the product of being a savvy veteran like Rude is. <laughs> Toss back into the ring. He must have had that scouted. 
Turning the tables. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Vicious knee drop. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. A savvy attack by the ring-wise veteran Robert Roode. Oh, I cannot even move. Crank in the head. The fight is being brought right to him. Yeah, it's to pull out some form of offense here. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Trap the arm. Yeah. And the neck breaker. Yeah. Rude gets fended off. This isn't going to be pretty. Hangman's neck breaker. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, oh no. he retaliates. Oh, just turn that around. Firing with a straight shot there. Answering back. Yeah. Rude gets fended off. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Slugging away with everything they've got. Oh, man. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. He turns it around. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Oh, no. oh colliding with a barricade. Oh, right to the back. With the counter. No signs of either combatant backing down. And well-timed maneuver there. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Boom. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh! Rude gets him back. Who will break first? That is the question. He deflects it right back. No more holding back. Going all out now. Ooh! Oof! Bam! That will leave you stunned. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Good God almighty, that could end it all right here. Dodges out of the way. Thank you for sharing, Orphid. I really appreciate it. Backbreaker. Right to the spine. Time out, time out. What time a out. chicken. Oh, what a clothesline. The chicken, wow. a worst case scenario. I couldn't he even needs move to during the time bout. Some room to regroup fast. And he slides him back to the mat. It's so weird when there is no music, there is no crowd. Up into the torture rack. Boom! Feast your eyes. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. He's heading back to the ring. Beating down with a shovel, straight pummeling them with it. And it looks like Rude might be bleeding now. Just one right after the other kick. Pin attempt for the championship. One, two, it's over. There we go. The title. Here is your winner. And Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance. Wow. I think this is actually the first time I'm actually having blood on the face on my character when he's winning something. By the way, it looked.
Yeah, only three hits of shovels was were enough to actually get a pin of three. And yep, now people are actually saying about uh, not being able to arrive. By the way, look there. Okay, Archer, what's about what you're about to say from this? It's all your fault, you know. Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. Exactly. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> this is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts. Except there will be gravity. Oh? Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. And in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. <laughs> Maybe someday. Archuth, Archuth. Oh my god. Oh well. Let's go and do the... Let's go and do the match. Hopefully, this Troy is gonna come faster because... At this way, Arthur is going to mess everything up. <laughs> If it's not too late already, by the way, look guys. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Yeah, there is still no crowd. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never uh, thank you. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE.
There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? Everybody is mocking our character, guys. Uh, well, there we go. Another title defense match. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. And his opponent from Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar! That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. Using an empty arena for a Falls Count Anywhere match, GM R-Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired? And R-Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. Ooh. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. Staved off that attack. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Just cranking the head. Now that'll do some serious damage. Great athleticism. He's going for it all. Incoming! Good Lord! Taking flight! Just crashing down with high impact! The challenger not looking good right now. I was pumped when I saw this match on tonight's card, but so far this Falls Count Anywhere match has exceeded all of my expectations. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, ouch! Okay, we need to get him out of the ring. Control. If this works, it could change the course. Sky high. Boom! And Gable's hopes are way for the win to retain the championship. One, two. Oh, I thought the champ had it. He just won't give up. Okay, come on. Elusiveness from Gable. German suplex. Yeah. Snapmare takedown. The champ not in a great play. Wow. No, Ross Ross down. Applied. It's cinched in. This could be over. Give up now. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Uh. Up across the shoulders. Boom. Uh. Feast your eyes. The champ will stay champ. Makes the cover. One. Two. That's yeah, and the champ it actually to was legacy. too long. It wasn't that long. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Superstar.
Yeah, that works out. Well, at least those guys are enjoying it. Oh, Arthur again. I think we, I wonder if we're going to have a match with there, him champ. by the end Can of it. Can you believe just a few hours ago there were people saying I wasn't suited to be a GM? Because you are not suited at all? Yes. They are people like me. They are right. right. I agree. That's why I took the suit off. Turns out being a GM is pretty tedious. It's mostly just logistics. And those are my third least favorite kind of sticks. But while I was bored in my office, I was watching you out there. And I was thinking that you look pretty tired. I wonder why. Probably because of the two title matches. But there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, I figured you being dead tired might mean this is my best chance to beat a dead horse. And since I'm in charge and there's no audience, I'm taking you on in a 24-7 style match for the title. Starting right now. Well, not literally right now, but in a few minutes backstage. See you there. Hey, yo, what? You bastard. You're actually trying to take advantage of all of this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Troy is still on the way. I think he's going to arrive literally when it's probably too late about it. We don't, we look like we don't have a choice. The avalanche oh my god, we're actually fighting champion. backstage. Just keep coming. A 24-7 match for the WWE Universal title? Interim SmackDown GM R-Truth is rewriting the rules left and right. He might have a future in management after all. Flipping senton, that was nice. Ooh, oh, what a kick. Oh. How quick are we going Strikes to fight our kick? kick? Ooh, devastating kick! Oh, well placed kick! One after another! Just punishing! Ooh! Able to evade! Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around! Big boot! Vicious! Flipping Senton! What a sick thud from that table! Ooh! Oh my! Oh! I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Yep, I'm still going, Chloe. Welcome back. The heavy here a backstage you. Oh, fight. God! With our truth. Ooh! And truth evades that. Clothesline! He knows how to avoid contact. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick! Beautiful. <laughs> Using his body as a weapon. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see if it was enough. Kick out of the title fight continues. Uh, it would have been too easy. Oh no. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Ooh. Oh, perfect kick. Boom. Slips out of the way. Here comes Michael. And what for the championship? Kick out after one from the champion. Truth caught by surprise. Up across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Okay, come on. Makes a cover. One, two, three. There and we the go. Champ stands tall once again. 
fighting in prison. No, it, it's not prison, Chloe. It's backstage fight. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like how you're thinking. Yeah, this guy wanted us to fight us backstage while he tired us having two major battles title defense earlier. Our truth called. <laughs> but hey, we did it. And uh, I think this is actually... Let me just check something, guys. And uh, yep, unfortunately, this is where we are going to wrap it out for tonight, guys. So without any further ado, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. For everyone that joined today, thank you so much, Chloe. Thank you, Orhit Fudge. Thank you very much, thank you very much for sharing out. Thank you, Davis, brother Vicious, and thank you for everyone else that joined today. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Ultra White ZXT, and I hope you are all amazing and legends. And as always. We are going to see you in the next live stream. And this is going to be a special one because on Thursday we are going to continue with WWE. As I've mentioned in the beginning of the stream. So see you all on Thursday with more WWE awesomeness. So stay cool, stay awesome. Have a great rest of the day or evening or night depending on your time zone. And I'll see you all there. Goodbye guys. Stay cool, stay awesome. Cheers. Bye bye.